So we're here at the ARM booth, and who are you? I'm Eric from ARM, uh, and I'm going to talk a bit about our sensors to servers demonstration. Uh, so this is a demonstration using the Embed platform. Um, this is uh, one of the Embed boards that's available. There's several others, you can check it out on embed.org. So at, at the ARM TechCon, you launched Embed OS, right? Yes, yes. So this is basically the, 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 the latest version of, of Embed. It's kind of the um, continued development of that platform. Uh, Embed OS. So there's been like some, yeah. some boards like this for a couple, three, year, four yep. years? Yep, this one's relatively new. It's got an internet at Ethernet jack, which is why I chose it for this particular demonstration. Uh, it's also got some Arduino headers, which are really handy for integrating other components. Um, we've got a six low pan shield, which I use in some of them. Uh, so that gives us a low power radio. We also did our own custom sensor module here. So this one's got a temperature, microphone, and ultrasonic. Some of the other ones on the booth have a PIR motion sensor. Um, and this again is on a little Arduino compatible header. So we can stack these up to make our little sensor node. And then we mounted them around our booth. So this one right here is at one of the demo stations. So it's measuring the ambient noise and the temperature, but it's also telling us when someone stood in front of this particular demo station. Demo station. Right? So you have a, the idea of the embed OS. It's for the Internet of Things, right? It's for the Internet of Things. So it's rolling in a bunch of the, the pieces you need to build an Internet of Things system end-to-end, -end. Uh, particularly communications, so, so software stacks for different communications uh, mediums, whether it's Ethernet, Bluetooth Low Energy, uh, 802.15.4, or you know, just plain old Wi-Fi. You'll find libraries will be coming into the Embed OS platform as it's released over the course of this year. Uh, the other piece of the puzzle is the Embed Device Server, which is a bit of software which will it on a server, uh, and that will basically bridge your small sensor nodes into the cloud and provide a RESTful API so you can integrate other web apps, uh, other cloud systems with you, the nodes that you build uh, on Embed OS. So right here you have one for example, what is this one doing? This one's measuring the height of everyone who walks into our post. So we have the, the heights charted throughout the days. So all this data goes back to the 64-bit ARM server we're using. Yeah. Uh, and then that is hosting a web page which is visualizing all the data. Uh, so we have visualizations of temperature, of booth occupancy, of, of noise, of all the heights over the course of the day. We have heat maps of what demo stations have people been stood in front of, which are the most popular. Uh, and you know, we're bringing all this data to life. Uh, so this is interesting on the booth. But real-world applications, you could roll this out across smart cities, smart factories, uh, you know, smart homes. This is the kind of applications you're looking at with this kind of end-to-end -end IoT system. Is it in a coffee, coffee machine? It's in the coffee machine as well. This is a demonstration that you might have seen at TechCon if you were there. Uh, there is a light sensor in the uh, in this little 3D printed uh, edition here. It scans the color of the Nespresso capsule. That information is sent out over via the Embed OS to an Embed device server in the cloud, uh, and then we have a web app that talks to that and tracks how many different colors capsules are being done, how much uh, coffee's been drunk. So this particular machine's been, this is its third show and it's uh, dispensed almost 50 liters of espresso uh, in its lifetime. So it's doing pretty good. So there's many of these. That's uh, about 1,500 of these. 1,500? Yeah. Nice. I can show you that web page if you give me a moment as well. Yeah, I mean, so basically, as you know, there is... There, on, on there, you show this heat map. This is the heat map. So this is how, which, which stations have been most popular. So you can see these ones here, the this Mali. Is the and also, yeah, this is the booth here, right? Uh, the, the ones at the back, uh, not quite as much here. This is the reception desk, which has been really popular in our casual meeting areas as well. Um, and this is an ambient noise showing kind of current noise levels in the booth. Where are you running this? Uh, this is uh, all running off of a Chromebook, which is behind the wall right now. Uh, yeah. The Chromebook is basically just uh, pulling the web page from the server. And that's a Applied Micro 64-bit uh, ARM server platform. ARM right there. Yeah, that's this box right here. That's hosting the web page. That's also hosting the uh, embed uh, device server as well. So is it basically uh, an issue about uh, uh, the Internet of Things having been too fragmented, many people doing different things? ARM is trying to make a, uh, some kind of standard platform that makes it work? We're trying to pull in some of the, the standard bits that everyone has to do for an IoT uh, kind of ecosystem into the Embed OS. So a lot of this is to do with the communications, uh, also security for those communications and, and some other common pieces. So the parts that you don't really want to have to build again every time, but that you know beforehand you did, that's going to be part of the OS, right? So you can focus on your innovation in the widget, the node that you're making, or in the cloud business application and integration that you're doing on the other side of the, the device server. Is it open source and free? Uh, elements of it are, elements of it are licensable. So that's, that's uh, 
question of some depth to it. So, uh, yeah. And where does it go, this OS? It's like next to the Cortex M0 Pluses and stuff like that? Like the small microcontrollers run this stuff? Yes, this is all running on Cortex M class microcontrollers at the time, uh, at this time. So these are M0, M0 Plus, M3, M4, and down the road, of course, M7 when it comes on. So it's not Linux? No, this is not Linux. This is uh, more like a traditional real-time operating system, but not, not quite the same. It's pulling in some, some additional stuff. Uh, yeah. All right, so, so this was launched at ARM TechCon, and now yeah. what happens now? Uh, there's a series of releases scheduled over the course of this year for the uh, Embed OS, uh, starting from uh, this month and going through to, I think the final release date is uh, in, in the third quarter this year, uh, and that will be uh, the, the full version 3.0 of Embed, which is Embed OS proper. And what's the response? Uh, so far, it's been very positive. Uh, if you look at the partners who are involved in Embed as well, that's a really interesting list. It started with silicon providers building microcontrollers, but now you're seeing people like IBM and Salesforce.com. And these are really cloud application guys who are interested in the big data as aspects that uh, Embed OS is going to make possible. All right, so enabling IoT. Yes, enabling IoT, absolutely. On part. Embed.